Hello again, 5% Nation. It's me, Christian, and I've missed you. And what that means is, it's time for another installment of 5% Nation of Aphorism. I'm going to call this one, Laura Branigan is my 80s, and an apology to that crackhead I peed on. Now, here I sit before you with my trusty orphan beater soul patch, a couple of unidentifiable stains on my t-shirt. Unidentifiable stains always remind me of the 80s because it's kind of like a stain on the century. It also reminds me of that possible stain I left on that crackhead that I hit with a hearty urine stream about a week ago. And yes, this uh, this actually happened. See, it goes like this. I'm, uh, I'm sitting at a local bar drinking enough alcohol to make a dead cow do warp seven, having an actual conversation with a two-year computer technician, and violently palming my junk through my Levi's at passing statutory anomalies, if you will. So all of a sudden, I feel this crushing pressure on my bladder, the, the kind of pressure only comparable to the crushing guilt a Jewish mother can unleash. I believe the actual unit of measure of that kind of guilt is an oi. So what I have to do is, of course, run with moderate Caucasian speed to the nearest dumpster, unleash the mountain of meat that is my baloney pony, and exhume a stream that Captain Kirk would be proud of right onto what upon reflection would have been the left shoulder and flank of a crouching drug addict just trying to enjoy his 2.53 a.m. trip to Fraggle Rock. And by Fraggle Rock, I mean crack. He was, uh, he was smoking crack. So, luckily, the appearance of my clean-shaven, purple-headed yogurt slinger in full dead cell and ammonia disposal mode sent him sprinting with even greater moderate Caucasian speed away from me, mumbling and cursing and slapping at his shoulder as though he could somehow banish the liquid Christian waste that was now clinging to his Tears for Fears t-shirt. Ah, uh, here's where I stand. Crackhead that I peed on, let's, let's call you Gloria. Gloria, I'm sorry, I was drunk, and, and what I did was, was inappropriate. And upon reflection, probably could have caused a significant amount of stinging to those open sores on your, on your face and neck. But we gave each other something that night, Gloria. Your t-shirt, dead, joyless eyes, and what seemed to be a terminal bone marrow illness gave me inspiration for today's little installment. And I, I gave you a slappingly tight piss stream to your shoulder and chest. Which brings me to this, everybody loves the acne prone ladies. The 80s, with all its unjustifiable denim. The 80s, when tricks weren't just for kids. I actually have absolutely no evidence to prove that last declarative statement, but, but I think it suits the 80s just the same. And here's the thing, I mean, I've spent a significant amount of time going around the internet looking for 80s memorabilia and trying to get that feeling back. Which is hard, because I was like fucking six in the 80s. But here's, here's what I would like you to do. This weekend, I would like you to imagine me peeing on a toothless drug addict smirking devilishly and that same homeless war veteran running away in 80s slow motion to Laura Brannigan's Gloria. Because to me, that is the 80s. I want to thank you for taking that journey with me. Whenever you find yourself in a situation involving urine, crack, strangers, heavy drinking, garbage dumpsters, dim lighting, or any combination thereof. I hope Gloria by Laura Branigan is your soundtrack too. And on a side note, thanks for coming out.